Now we're talking ecological dog food. This is the rest for ecological butcher here in North Zealand. And uh, I first, I tried it on my dog first and um, it cured the inflammation in the, uh, in his joints. In um, two months, the inflammation was gone. So we call it keto, keto for dogs. It can also cure cancer. And you know what? It's much easier to cure cancer with dogs because uh, there's no procrastination. There's no sugar addiction. You can just uh, make the diet. You can say what it is. And then um, the dog will follow it because if the owner gives the dog the right amount of food, so the dog uh, does a little bit of ash. It's from the butcher. It's actually uh, um, ecological meat. This butcher in North Zealand has only ecological meat. And so the rest that he's not selling, he uh, can sell for very, very low price for the dog owners because we cooperate here Teddy gets Teddy gets that's a gift to call me sir So what, what I do now, I make small pieces, so um, I put it in the fridge, um, in the deep, actually in the freezer, so it will be deep frozen and fresh again when I take it out, and I give my dog uh, ketogenic food once a day. So he's in, it's, we, we call it human grade ketogenic. It means that we do both caloric restriction and intermittent fasting. He gets food, uh, he gets food once a day in the morning. And um, this is very, very good. He loves this. I give him also cabbage or and sauerkraut, sauerkraut. That's the uh, fermented cabbage, and that's very good for his bacterial, for his uh, bacterial gut flora. Um, I have seen you eating the dog's food. Tell me a little about that. Oh, actually, this could be the could be. Oh, I like it. Maybe I should take it. Yeah, this this is very very nice. That's the that's very very nice fat, and um, I can actually use it for myself. <laughs> and um, because there's a lot of fat here, and um, this is very nice fat i use it also for cooking i use it uh, um, that's saturated fat actually the best fat you can get saturated fats um, so um, i do ketogenic too so um, i used to buy lamb fat for teddy and i love lamb fat for cooking so Sometimes uh, when I have to use um, some oil or some fat for frying, I take dog food. 
and it's okay, we share. Right, Titi? That's very, very nice. That's pure. Mmm. That's pure fat. And the blend, oh, and this blend is um, for Titi. That's both protein and fat. And there's a little bit ashes. It's from um, um, because they are sm smoking the ham. So it's a little bit uh, fash from birch tree. So it's it's okay to eat that too. Not a problem at all. So all of this, this is both this is both uh, um, some ecologic uh, pig and uh, also grass-fed cow. And the dog, the inflammation stops. And the dog gets much more energy. And the crazy thing is that uh, this diet is uh, much cheaper than buying normal dog food. This is crazy. It's both much better and each it's, I will say it's cheaper. Yeah. So this is, this is a very nice one. I think Teddy, you can uh, handle this one. That's a bone. You want to take it and handle it outside? Sit. No, good dog, please. But all the dog food ads, they tell me that to be very healthy and have all the right vitamins and uh, uh, and, and uh, so on, um, your dog needs to have these pills. Not at all, not at all, because the, the dog, uh, um, first, uh, he has uh, all the vitamins he needs here, and um, I give him a little bit sauerkraut to a good bacterial flora. Doesn't need it, but he has a very, very good uh, digestion, and he has a um, very nice, um, how do you call it, hair? Skin. The skin, yeah, yeah. So it's a very nice skin, and uh, he's in very good state. No inflammation. He runs fast. He's a very happy dog. So I don't use any supplements because everything is here. Everything he needs. That's his natural food. And if he uh, wants something else, he goes. Uh, we walk. We walk. I walk the dog in the woods. And he used to pick up some grass, you know, sometimes he eats some um, uh, soil, very fertile soil in the woods, uh, rich with uh, micro uh, nutrients. So um, he's perfectly, uh, that's a perfect diet for him, really. So I really, uh, I hope we can keep on doing this. And why not? We have a butcher, it's a local butcher. Here in North Zealand, there's a lot of uh, biodynamic farming. Perfect place. So be inspired and give your dog this privilege to eat real, real stuff. Your dog will be healthy, very, very happy, and um, will love you more yet.